All right, welcome everyone to another video. Today we're going to focus on equations versus regular math and their differences and similarities. I know it's been a while since I've done an AG video. That's because obviously academic games has been kind of on hiatus, but it started up again in 2021 and 2022 um, due to uh, the COVID restrictions being removed. And so it's time to get into the groove of studying and preparing for the tournaments and getting ready to go uh, for the state and national competition. So let's talk about the first difference, and that is you're only going to use this X symbol when doing multiplication in equations. And so there's several forms of multiplication in regular math. So as you can see, method one here is just, for example, eight times three equals 24. We're using the X symbol, that's 24. That's good to go. Another method you can use is eight dot three. The dot in mathematics is used to represent multiplication. If you see that on a, you know, on a formula sheet that would represent multiplication. In regular math, we can also use parentheses to represent multiplication. If there are two sets of parentheses, or even one set of parentheses around a number, that may signify multiplication. And then finally, in some situations, a star signifies multiplication, um, like eight star three would be equal to 24 in regular math. And so all of these are appropriate to write in regular mathematics, but in equations, only one of the methods is allowed um, in the rule book that you can use when writing solutions on your sheet of paper. And that is method one, eight times three. So you're only going to be using the X symbol in equations when writing your solutions. If you use any of these other three methods, that will not be a valid solution. And, very, and be very careful about method four because uh, the star is actually used to represent a power. So you may see stars on some of the cubes. It's a big no-no. Do not use that as multiplication because, because the star means power and only the X means multiplication. So the second difference is that you're only going to be using the division symbol to divide. And so like multiplication, there's several forms of division in regular math as well. First method is just six divided by two using the division symbol equals to three. That's, um, this is the standard symbol used in division. We can also do six slash two. The slash is used to represent division in regular math. We can do six slash two written in another form, uh, this time horizontally oriented, six slash two is equal to three. And finally, in some you know, methods of teaching division, this symbol is used, it's not a square root, but um, this represents division. And so the six would be the dividend and the two would be the divisor. And so you'd multiply six divided by two is equal to three. Now in equations, you're only allowed to use method one when writing your solutions that contain division. You can only use the division symbol. And the only symbol that will appear on the cubes is this symbol here. So none of these other symbols are gonna actually appear on the cubes in the first place. So you shouldn't even be using them in your solutions. It's just sometimes people, um, they see the division symbol, but they just think, oh, you know, these are all the same. And I can just interchange them in my solutions. No, you can't. So you wanna be careful and only use this division symbol. Next is only use the power symbol for exponents, so only the caret or the star. And so there's several forms of exponents similar to multiplication and division that are allowable in equations alongside math, but only certain symbols. And so method one in just regular math, we can use two star three equals to eight. If you recall in the multiplication slide, I said that don't use the star because it means power. And so this would be correct. It means two to the power of three. You can also do two carat three equals eight. The carat represents power. Two with the three in the upper right corner, that would actually be a power. Um, it's, it's the superscript that we're writing the three in that represents power in regular math. And then finally, in some rare situations, having two stars represent a power, I'm assuming that's because having two stars would represent a power, um, which is very rare. We don't see that often, but that, it, that could be something that, that you stumble upon in regular math. So that, so that would be two to the power of three equals to eight. And so all of these are mathematically correct, but only a couple of them will be allowable in equations. And that is methods one and two are the only ones that you can actually use in equations when writing solutions in your paper. Methods three and four are not allowed. And so you might be wondering why there are two allowable methods. That's because some versions of the game, you know, that have been produced have the power written as a star in the cubes and other ones have it written as a carrot. 
Um, I would recommend, I would highly recommend using whatever power that your cube has on the surface when writing your solution. I think it depends on the judge, but you may or may not be allowed to interchange these two if, you know, the, the star symbol on, on one of the cubes is present and you use the carrot in your solution. But I would not, I would recommend to just stay away from that and use whatever's on your cube that you are referring to. Number four is that minus signs do not represent negative numbers. This is a common misconception that new players have. And so you have to create negative numbers from other numbers. So for example, in regular math, you can say five minus negative four equals to nine. The two negatives make a positive and that's five plus four equals to nine. That's perfectly okay in regular math. Now method two is five minus, and then in parentheses, zero minus four or some number minus something that gives you a negative number. And when you take five and you subtract that negative number, the two negatives make a positive and you get a nine. So this is the same thing as method one, but it's a little bit more, um, more padding involved. And the thing is, you are only allowed to use method two in equations. You cannot use method one. You cannot have two operations back to back in equations. It's not just negatives, but you can't have two operations back to back in, in any, you know, with any symbols in, in equations. It's not allowed. And so if you want to do some subtractions of the negatives, double negatives, you need to have uh, this type of format where you have one number subtracting, you know, another number subtracting another number. Um, because that zero minus four becomes negative four and the five minus negative four is nine. You cannot just have, you know, five minus minus four. That will not work. And the subtractions do not represent negative signs. Last one here, square roots have only one interpretation. And so you're going to evaluate square roots only for the positive root. So in math, you may have learned that a square root has two interpretations, a positive and a negative, and that's correct. Uh, for example, the square root of nine will be equal to positive three and, and negative three because both of those raised to the second power would be equal to nine. It, that would make this correct. However, in equations, we are only going to be taking the positive roots of square roots. So square root of nine would not be equal to negative three in equations. It would only be equal to three. And so when you're writing solutions, you cannot use this negative, the square root nine to represent negative three and then work from there. This is because in equations, if we had both interpretations allowed, this would make the game confusing. It would create ambiguity and the judges don't want that. And so they're only using the positive root value. So that's allowed and you cannot have two interpretations. So we're gonna do a quick drill here. Um, determine whether these solutions are written correctly. And so you wanna pause the video here, try these out um, and see if, if they're actually written correctly. There's not much math involved. If they're written correctly, just mark it with a yes. If they're not written correctly, you wanna find out why, maybe think about a possible way to fix that solution. So take a couple of minutes to solve these problems and unpause the video when you're ready. Okay, so let's go over the answers. Number one, six times four equals to 24. Let's pay attention to the symbol here, the operation. We're using the X symbol, which is what's allowed. So yes, this solution is written correctly. Good job to this writer. Number two here is nine slash three slash represents division plus four equals to seven. Nine divided by three is three plus four is seven. Mathematically, this is right, but you cannot accept the solution because slash is not allowed to be, to be used as division in equations. You can only use the division symbol. And so therefore, even though the math checks out, this is wrong. You should write it like this, nine divided by three plus four equals a seven. To solve number three here, we have five to the power of three, which is equal to 125 mathematically equals to five times in parentheses, 18 plus seven. And so your solutions on, on the left side here, the carrot is being used in this situation to represent power. That's allowed. You wanna make sure that the cubes that are present in front of you have a carrot on them to represent the power. And so, yeah, this would be right. Finally, finally, we have number four here, square root of four minus eight equals to one minus in parentheses two plus nine. Let's interpret the goal here. Two plus nine is 11, one minus 11 is negative 10. Here we have a square root of four minus eight. Now in regular math, square root of four would be equal to positive two and negative two. And it seems like this solution writer took the negative root, they said, Square root of four is negative two minus eight is negative 10, which is equal to goal.
But in equations, you're only allowed to take the positive root. So this would be interpreted as square root of four equals to two minus eight is negative six. Negative six is not equal to negative 10, which is the goal. So this would not be right. A, a, correct, a correct method to write a solution for this goal would be, for example, square root of four minus in parentheses eight plus four. And so the square root of four is positive two, we can only take the positive root, subtracting eight plus four, which is 12. So that's two minus 12 is negative 10. And that actually fits the value of our goal. So this would be correct. So we are concluding this video, just some quick tips on equations versus regular math. You wanna make sure to avoid silly mistakes because those will make you lose points really easily. You know, as you saw in the drill, all of those solutions were mathematically correct. They could be interpreted correctly, but in equations, there are rules that you need to follow that would make some of those solutions actually incorrect. So make sure you follow those rules and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to get future content. Lots more coming on. If you have a video request, email me here and see you next time.